Good morning, everybody. You are currently listening to A Tall Girl's podcast hosted by a tall girl named India. I hope everyone who's tuning in today is doing super fantastic. Before I get into this episode, I do want to say make sure you're following me on my socials at A Tall Girl's podcast on Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest so that you can stay up to date on all of the latest podcast episodes and catch a glimpse of my everyday life. Also, feel free to leave me a review and let me know how tall you are. I'm genuinely curious. Everything is going to be linked in the description. And also subscribe to my newsletter. I kind of need to figure out how to work that into my transition. Or maybe I'll just tell you all just go to all of the links in the description and just follow me slash subscribe on whatever you're not already on. I don't know. That's going to take some more work. Anyways, it's been a while since I've held this mic, specifically a month. The last time I've actually sat down and actually recorded an episode like this, it was like a month ago. Oh my gosh, my trip, because it was before my trip. And geez, it's really been a month since my trip. It feels like it was just yesterday though. I don't know, time flies. And honestly, I thought I would be recording on my new mic that I literally purchased back in April, but I had to order a windscreen or a little poofy thingy to go over it because that helps to filter out my 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 puzz, like my P's and my B's. So you're not getting like all of this air. You're not hearing my carbon dioxide in the microphone. I ordered that. However, the issue is I ordered it for pickup, not to my house, like to my apartment, because, you know, people in this building like to steal. So I usually like to do order for pickup and it arrived at the pickup station and I have yet to pick it up. So I'm going to force myself to do that this week. And hopefully by next week, I will be recording on my new mic. But other than that, it feels good to be back doing this. It feels good to just be able to sit down and talk to you guys. I'm finally back into a routine. Yes, I know I came back literally like three weeks ago for my trip. But, you know, it's hard, especially I think also because after graduating, I graduated from school. Then two, three weeks later, I hopped on a plane to a different country and I already just didn't have a regular schmegular post-grad routine. Like I was struggling with that. Then to go on a trip, then have post-trip depression, and then try to get back into a routine is just a lot. But I'm, I'm slowly getting back into some kind of groove, and I'm happy about that. And if you're anything like me and thrive off of productivity, thrive off of routine, let me know. We're both in the same boat, but... I am slowly getting back into a routine. That's just what I wanted to say. I'm just not quite there yet. Now, getting into this episode, I am working with Etta Grove to do a product review on one of their items. This is my first ever product review. So I don't know how this is going to work, but we're going to make it work. I think I did a pretty good job. I had to film this over the past few days. I like to piecemeal these types of things, so I had to film over the past few days. So if you are currently listening to the audio version of this, I definitely recommend watching the video version of this because I actually filmed myself unboxing it, trying it on, showing you the product, showing you the accessories to the products, accessories. It'll make more sense the more you get it to this episode, but I highly, highly recommend watching the video version so you can see all of that. I'm probably also going to link that in the description so it's just easier for you guys to check out. But I'm actually very excited to do something like this because as tall girls, it's already hard enough to find clothes that fit our proportions. And when it comes to shoes, the struggle is even more real. Can I get a here here if you agree? Let's face it, brands are not moving at the pace that we need them to move at, even though they probably hear our constant cries. You have pants fitting like capris, dresses fitting like t-shirts, and shoes fitting like they should be kid sizes. You can't tell me this isn't crazy. Today, I am partnering with Etta Grove to give my full, open, and honest review about one of their products. So there is no holding back here. Etta Grove is a size-inclusive footwear and handbag brand with shoes ranging from sizes 7 to 14. I actually did an episode with the co-founder 
of Etta Grove. I did a little interview with her. You should definitely check that out. I might also link that in the description below. Oh my gosh, you guys got a lot of links coming to you with this episode. <laughs> but without further ado, let's get into it. So with this unboxing slash product review episode, I kind of wanted to like break it down into three sections, kind of like the before, during, and after, before I received the product, like when I received the product slash when I unboxed the actual product, and then after, meaning using the product, rating its comfortability, the ease of putting it on, the ease of taking it off, durability, stuff like that. So that's kind of how I'm going to break it down let's see how that works i'm gonna i'm gonna make sure this flows properly for you guys so before i actually received the package you know i didn't even have to wait that long the shipping was about three to four business days which isn't that bad because i'm usually the type of person that can wait about two weeks to receive a product because i like to you know plan things in advance so this came pretty quickly in terms of my standards and when the item was being shipped to me i used the app shop to be able to track my package um, i actually downloaded the app because they have an app i don't know if they have an actual site but i think when i clicked to track with shop or whatever um it directed me to download the app so that's what i did and it came via ups we love we love ups um i usually don't have any issues with them and yeah the product got there pretty quickly and for reference i ordered the haley 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 it's gonna be on the screen if you're watching the video version, but I ordered the Halle Casual Sneaker, which is a tan canvas suede sneaker. I've been actually seeing that everywhere on social media. Um, a lot of influencers, particularly and models, I guess that they're, that Etta Grove is partnering with. I've been seeing that a lot on Instagram. So I was like, mm, let me give that a try. I'm also more of a sneaker girly, so I don't mind adding to my sneaker collection. Um, but I saw people have it in orange. I'm not really an orange type of girly, so I got it in tan. And also for reference, I am a size nine and a half, but this sneaker goes all the way up to size 14. When the product arrived, it came in like a big box, but there was a box in a box. So I opened the big box and then there was a smaller box in there that actually contained the shoes. I really liked the logo that they had like on the top of the shoe box. I thought that was pretty cool. Now when I opened the box, each individual sneaker was wrapped or packaged. So once I took those out of the little baggies that they were in, they, it gave like a nice fresh shoe smell. Not a bad one because, you know, I sometimes I do have my concerns with ordering products and they have this really bad or really weird smell to it that's just not my vibe but this one it wasn't a bad smell it was just a new shoe smell and one of the first things that i realized or recognized right off the bat was that the sneaker itself had a bit of a platform to it so that's something to keep in mind if you're a tall girly or a tall person who doesn't really like shoes that gives them a little bit of extra height me i personally don't care so I didn't mind that there was like a bit of a platform to it. It was probably like only an inch or an inch and a half. It wasn't that much, but I could tell that that was going to give me like some more height, if you know what I mean, make me a little bit taller. So as I said before, if you're not the type of person who likes your shoes to have platform or some height to it, I would just keep that in mind. I also prefer more neutral colors, hence why I chose tan. I just wear a lot of basic colors, a lot of neutral colors. It's just less decision making on my part out of all the decisions that I have to make throughout the day. I don't want to have to worry so much about what I'm wearing. And then it had like an all over print type of vibe to it, which I thought was really cool. It was kind of giving like Guess or Dior with their sneakers or some of their sneakers where the logo was printed like all over the shoe. And it was actually really cool. I liked that kind of detailing and you could tell that it wasn't like stretched out. Like the logo itself wasn't stretched out on the shoe. Like it looks like intact. It wasn't overpowering. It wasn't too much. It was just enough. So I thought that was really nice. The feel of the shoe was also really nice. It felt sturdy. It felt like it wasn't flimsy in any sort of way. Most of the material I believe is canvas. Like it's giving, it reminds me of like canvas converse, the material. Um, I believe that most of the material is canvas. And then like part of it, the small part of it 
at the towards the bottom is suede so the shoe is mostly canvas and then there's a little bit of suede it also had a little hole thingy that's like by the heel you know the hole that you stick your finger through so you can put the shoe on um easily and take it off like it had that on there which i think is very smart because i also struggle with putting my shoe on if it doesn't have like the little hole thingy to help you like pull the shoe on so i thought that that was really cool and very smart to have and for the bottom of the shoe it looked like it had good grip on it like it's really going to be gripping the ground but we'll see in the try on portion when i actually try it on and wear it outside but overall the material the shoe itself it just felt really good quality the inside of the shoe i believe the insole i don't know i'm not really good with any shoe terms but the very inside where your feet are touching the bottom of your feet are touching that part it felt comfortable but sturdy what i'm trying to say is that yes they're comfortable but they're also going to provide you with the support that you need overall it was a very good first impression but we have to try it on first to actually determine if what i'm saying is true so let's get on to the try on part now i am no fashionista at all Okay, I am like, that's just not my thing. It's not my vibe and it's okay. I roll with it. But I will say how I will style it is that I would wear it probably with a monochromatic outfit. I'm the type of person to wear like all black or all blue. So I think that wearing all black or all blue, I also wear a lot of darker colors. So wearing all black and all blue. And then having like that slight pop of color, I guess you could say, in the sneaker is the direction I would go. I usually wear white sneakers, so I would usually wear like all black or all blue and then wear the white sneakers. So I decided to have the same concept for this one. I wore all blue, actually. You'll see in the video portion, I wore these pants that also look like that they're black, but they're just very, very dark blue. But in both outfits that I wore with it, I wore all blue and then I wore the sneakers with it. And I thought it was really nice. I thought it looked really nice. Like that's something I would genuinely wear out in public on an everyday, on a casual basis. Now, as for the pants that I wore, these pants are like the literal one pair of pants that I have in my wardrobe that drag on the ground. And immediately when I put the shoes on, the pants were not dragging on the ground anymore. And that's how I knew that these shoes definitely had a platform on it. But it wasn't super high. It wasn't like giving four, five, six inches. It was probably like one and a half inches max. Like it wasn't that high of a platform. But the sneakers were really nice. I really liked the fit of it. It felt very comfortable when I first put it on. The laces were long enough because we need long enough laces. Okay, I'm the type of person that needs to like triple, quadruple. Not their laces i don't know you just have to be very sure nowadays and i don't want them coming loose so they had enough slack i guess you could say where i could quadruple tie and there was still more lace left to like quintuple tie if i wanted to you know what i mean but the laces weren't long enough that is good i will say though it would be smarter to wear a thicker sock with this and not to wear no-show socks like wear socks that actually like go past your ankle not like super super past your ankle but like you know the ones that cover your ankles and also cover your achilles heel because um because they did rub a little bit not a lot i typically wear thicker socks anyways um but they did rub just a little bit on the back of my heel so i would it's not to the point where it's like super super bad and it's going to give you blisters on the back but i will say just be careful and know like what works for you because every foot is different my foot is weirdly shaped i have very interesting ankles everybody's body is different but for me personally it started rubbing just a tad bit on the back but because I wore a thicker sock and a sock that covered my Achilles heel and came above my ankle, it wasn't that bad. So I would just keep that in mind. I did take it for a little walkie walk. Okay. I literally walked like a mile in them. I walked to my high school and back. That was a good mile. And, you know, they were very comfortable. They worked really well. Very comfortable. Very sturdy. Um... I will say that for the canvas material, I don't know if you should wear it in the rain. It did rain earlier the day that I decided to take it outside. I will say I don't know if you should wear it in the rain. But 
I did walk on the wet ground in a couple puddles and there was no leakage like it didn't wet my socks or anything like that so that was good but I don't know if canvas material does well in the rain I'm gonna have to look that up but overall stepping on the wet ground in the puddles it my socks weren't wet they were all protected so it was actually a very good experience they were comfortable they were sturdy my feet didn't hurt and yeah I think overall I had a really good experience with this try on and this unboxing and product review. So I will rate it an 8.5 out of 10. Very supportive, very sturdy, very stylish. I really liked how it matched with my outfit and comfortable, easy to put on, easy to take off. So I would actually recommend this product. I give it an 8.5 out of 10. I'm also going to link that in the description as well so that you guys can just click on it and head on over to the website and check out that product if you want. I will say it is on the expensive side when I check the price of the product, but if you fill out the survey that I'm also going to link down below, I think you get a discount code at the end of it. And if you sign up for their newsletter, you also get a discount code. A lot of links are going to be left below. So you have multiple opportunities to see if you can get a discount code for that. But yeah, thank you again to Edigirl for partnering with me on this episode. This was actually really fun to do. And all of their links and stuff is going to be in the description to their website, to their socials, to the episode that I did with one of the co-founders, and even the survey that you should fill out to give them feedback and some inspiration for a lot of their new products that they want to try. I highly recommend filling that out because I, like I said before, I think you get a discount code at the end of it and you can buy the sneakers <laughs> that I reviewed in this episode. And yeah, thank you for tuning into this episode. I really appreciate it and I appreciate you. As always, feel free to hit me up. Let me know what you thought about this product review. Let me know if I should do more of these types of episodes. I'm genuinely curious about that because I thought this was actually really cool to do. And yeah, maybe I can do that again in the future for you guys, if you guys want, of course. And one last time, shout out to Etta Grove for working with me on this episode and doing that interview two weeks ago. It was a pleasure, you know, getting to know their brand and what they stand for and, you know, actually being able to try on one of their products. It's really, really amazing that I have this opportunity and I thank Etta Grove and I also thank you guys for allowing me to have the opportunity to have the chance to actually do this. And yeah. Like I said before, all links are going to be in the description and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Good night and goodbye.